There have been fake photos of Donald Trump being arrested. These technologies, like image generators, raises concerns about widespread harm caused by the misuse of these AI systems. Regulating AI. Three experts explain why it's difficult to do and important to get right. From countering misinformation to balancing innovation, we'll explore various approaches. Today, we're talking about the challenges and importance of regulating artificial intelligence or AI, how powerful new AI systems can amplify fraud and misinformation, leading to calls for government regulation. But it's not as simple as it sounds. That's the new generation of generative AI systems that have the ability to create convincing but fictional text and images. For example, there have been fake photos of Donald Trump being arrested and even a chatbot describing a living computer scientist as having tragically died. These technologies like image generators DAL-E, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion, as well as text generators BARD, ChatGPT, Chinchilla, and Elila MA, are now available to millions of people without requiring technical knowledge to use them. This raises concerns about widespread harm caused by the misuse of these AI systems. Absolutely. With technology companies rolling out these AI systems and testing them on the public, policymakers are faced with the challenge of determining whether and how to regulate this emerging technology. One expert mentioned in the article is S. Shyam Sundar, who points out that the reason for regulating AI is not because the technology is out of control, but because human imagination is out of proportion. There's a tendency to let our guard down when machines are performing tasks, which is known as automation bias. Sundar explains that when a machine is identified as the source of interaction instead of a human, it triggers a mental shortcut called a machine heuristic. This belief that machines are accurate and infallible clouds our judgment and leads to an over-reliance on machines. So regulating AI is necessary to ensure that these products deserve our trust and don't exploit it. Sundar also highlights that AI poses a unique challenge because designers cannot be sure how AI systems will behave. Unlike traditional engineering systems where engineers know exactly how a product will function, self-driving cars and large generative AI models like GPT-4 and DALL-E 2 are unpredictable. That's right, thousands of people have been amazed by what these AI models produce in response to their prompts. But even the engineers who developed them can't guarantee what the models will generate. This unpredictability makes it crucial to have regulations in place to address potential misfires and ensure that human sensibilities and welfare are not harmed. Sundar suggests that AI is more like an infrastructure, like a freeway that can shape human behaviors collectively. But just like a freeway needs mechanisms to tackle abuses like speeding and unpredictable occurrences like accidents, AI systems need regulatory or governance frameworks. These frameworks should include periodic audits and policing of AI outcomes and products. Sundar does acknowledge that the designers of AI systems can't always be held accountable for mishaps. AI developers need to be creative in envisioning how their systems might behave and anticipate potential violations of social standards and responsibilities. It's a complex task that requires careful consideration. Definitely. The article emphasizes the need for balance when it comes to regulating AI. While it's important to address the potential harms caused by these powerful technologies, we also need to recognize the limitations of holding designers fully accountable for every mishap. That's a great point. It's a fine line between ensuring the responsible use of AI and stifling innovation. Striking the right balance will require collaboration between policymakers, industry experts, and AI developers. Absolutely. And it's also crucial to keep in mind that public awareness and education play a significant role in regulating AI. By understanding the capabilities and limitations of these technologies, individuals can make informed decisions and not blindly trust everything generated by AI systems. Well said, it's clear that regulating AI is a complex challenge, but an important one to get right. As AI continues to advance and become more integrated into our lives, finding the right balance between regulation and innovation will be crucial. It's a tricky subject, but an important one as AI continues to advance and impact various industries and sectors. That's right, regulating AI is no easy feat. In order to do it effectively, you first need to have a clear definition of what AI is and understand the potential risks and benefits associated with it. However, this isn't as straightforward as it may seem. The field of AI is constantly evolving, making it difficult to pin down a stable legal definition. And not only is defining AI a challenge, but so is understanding its risks and benefits. To create effective regulations, we need to maximize the public benefits of AI while minimizing the risks. 
However, with AI being such an emerging technology, it's hard to predict what those risks and benefits will be in the future. That's a great point. It's often the case that lawmakers are too slow to adapt to the rapidly changing technological landscape. By the time new laws are enacted or even introduced, they can already be obsolete. This could create legal barriers for societal benefits or even loopholes that allow for harmful conduct. And that's where the concept of soft laws comes in. Soft laws are an alternative to traditional hard law approaches of legislation that aim to prevent specific violations. In the soft law approach, a private organization sets rules or standards for industry members. These rules can change more rapidly than traditional laws, making them promising for emerging technologies like AI. However, one downside of soft laws is that enforcement can be more lenient compared to traditional government regulation. That's where the concept of copyleft AI with trusted enforcement, CAITE, comes in, combines copyleft licensing and the concept of patent trolls. Copyleft licensing allows for content to be used, reused, or modify easily under the terms of a license, like open source software. The CAIT model uses copyleft licenses to require AI users to follow specific ethical guidelines, such as transparent assessments of the impact of bias. And here's where it gets interesting. In this model, the same licenses also transfer the legal right to enforce license violations to a trusted third party. This creates an enforcement entity that exists solely to enforce ethical AI standards and can be funded in part by fines from unethical conduct. This model is flexible and adaptable allowing it to meet the ever-changing needs of the AI environment. It also enables substantial enforcement options, similar to a traditional government regulator. So it combines the best elements of both hard and soft law approaches to tackle the unique challenges posed by AI. Now, let's shift gears a bit and explore some key questions surrounding AI regulation. Professor John Velisner raises some thought-provoking points in the article. The first question he poses is whether new AI-specific regulation is necessary at all. Many potential issues that arise from AI systems are already covered by existing frameworks. The second question Professor Villasener raises is about the risks of regulating a rapidly changing technology based on a snapshot of time. He uses the example of the Stored Communications Act, which was enacted in 1986 when digital communication technologies like email were still new. The law provided less privacy protection for emails older than 180 days, assuming they were less important. However, this logic may no longer hold true in today's context. The third question raised by Professor Velisnor highlights the potential unintended consequences of regulation. He gives the example of the Allow States and Victims to Fight Online Sex Trafficking Act of 2017, which aimed to combat sex trafficking that had a negative impact on sex workers who relied on certain websites to exchange information about dangerous clients. And finally, the fourth question posed by Professor Villasenor focuses on the economic and geopolitical implications of AI regulation. If regulators in one country intentionally slow down AI progress, it could lead to investment and innovation moving elsewhere. While there are concerns about AI, it also promises significant benefits in areas like education, medicine, manufacturing, and more. These are all important questions that need to be considered when thinking about AI regulation. By addressing them, we can create regulations that effectively address the potential harms of AI while still ensuring access to its benefits. And check it. Always get the latest AI dope. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks. Yeah.